One of the big things that I've come across with, uh, with regards to patient rehab is the fact that they're not very compliant. Um, and they do like to whine a little bit. Uh, at least in an athletic population, they tend to be a little less whiny unless you're dealing with baseball players. Um, then they tend to cry a lot. But uh, for the most part, other sports tend not to be very whiny. Um, but in, in general, your general populace patients will, uh, will complain about doing anything because everybody wants a pill, right? I mean, you have clients, everybody wants a pill. They just want to give me a pill and it'll all be better and I don't have to work or sweat. Okay, but uh, in the athletic population, they tend to be a little bit more motivated. Um, the first couple of slides are going to talk about principles, and I think if you take the principles and you lock into the principle, you can do anything. You can take, go home, you can, you can make up your own as long as you hold on to the core of the principles. And that's really what I want you to get out of it is not, you know, this exercise or that one. But if you take the principle, you can make up your own. And that's the whole key. That's what empowers you. You're empowered if you know how to think and do it on your own. Don't necessarily listen to me and say, this is a great exercise. Okay? Take the concept and make it work for you. That, that's what counts. So the first thing we have to do is get our patients out of pain or get our athlete out of pain, restore function, then talk about sports or occupational specific training. And when I talk to um, occupational patients, the one thing that I like to make sure I, I relate to them is that that's their sport, okay? They might not be a world-class skier or uh, you know, a hockey player, baseball player, weightlifter, whatever, okay? But their job is their sport, and I need to keep them off the disabled list, and I need to keep them working. And they really tend to buy into that. And I think if you're training people that are in an occupational setting, that's a good mentality to come at them with because they, most people can relate to that. Um, and then we want to keep them from getting hurt again. You know, so you have to always, we always stop short. We get right about here, and either they leave, we never see them again. We need to keep control of them so that we can take them through to prevent further injury. So that's kind of where, kind of the, the approach I go. Um, 